Hey, Mark Lambert here at Sweet Swan of Mine. Today is uh, tomato sauce day. My buddy Zach here grew, grew about 100, 150 tomato plants. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he said, we got a lot of extra tomatoes. How about let's make some sauce? So we took our tomatoes, filled our skillet here full of um, about 15 gallons of water, brought it to a bowl, and we just dumped these in there until we started seeing some of them split. And that just makes them easy to get the skins off of them because you don't want a bunch of skins in your sauce. And then once they sit, we had six bushels of tomatoes. And then all you're doing now is just taking your knife. And these are heirloom tomatoes, so they got a big core. So we're just taking the core out and then we're just pushing the meat right out of that tomato. And these are real nice and soft. You see, we just go around that core, pull that core out, and then we're gonna just push the meat out of that skin and that's what's left so that's what we did there we pushed all of that out we've got a little bit left here to go in uh, this is our first build, really big tub that we did uh, before we put the tomatoes in there we took a pint of olive oil we took um, 12 heads of garlic and we just roughly uh, just sauteed those until they're translucent and then we dumped our tomatoes in and then you can see over here in our gallon container, we strained off our juice. We're gonna strain that and make some really good Bloody Marys. But um, real simple process, it's olive oil, garlic, tomatoes. And then you have to cook this down and reduce it. We remove a lot of the water. You see that steam coming off, that's pulling that water off and it's concentrating that tomato flavor. Um, we're gonna add a little salt, we may add just a little sugar, and we're putting this Cattleman's Grill Italiano seasoning in there. It's got lots of dried herbs and spices, a little fennel. We'll put a whole thing of this in six bushels of tomatoes, 12 heads of garlic, pine of olive oil. That's it. We're gonna cook this down, let it reduce. It's gonna really intensify this flavor. We're gonna mash it up really good, and we're gonna can it. That's how you save your tomatoes and make awesome tomato sauce during tomato season. Check it out. Need to do this? Make your own pizza sauce, spaghetti sauce. Chicken parm is coming up real soon. Y'all try it out.